Hello everyone, Anand here, back with another video. And in this video, we are going to take a look at different for loops available in JavaScript. So for iterating through array or any iterable object, we have different kinds of for loops available and they all function a bit differently. So uh, you should not just use them interchangeably. Uh, so in this video, I'll explain how and uh, why they differ from each other. So let's just get started. So I'll quickly declare an array and Let's just name it pets. It will contain all the animals which I have as my pets. So the first is dog. I have a dog and a cat. Uh, there's a lizard on my wall. So I guess that counts as a, uh, as my pet. So, so as you can see, the pets array has dog, cat and a lizard. So uh, the basic for loop is the one which we have used the most, I think. I mean, I have used the most which is just like this one uh, for i equal to 0 i is less than array dot length which in this case is pets dot length and then uh, i plus plus yeah so if i do console dot log console dot log uh, pets of i so it gives me dog cat and lizard which is the expected answer and uh, this was pretty simple you must have seen this this kind of for loop in other programming languages as well uh, a different kind of for loop is uh, for each loop. So for e pets dot for each, I mean the array dot for each, it will return you. Uh, uh, it it takes as it takes a callback function as its parameter, and then uh, you get each element as a parameter. And if I simply do console dot log pet, I should be getting the same answer, which I do. So the next is uh, for in loop and uh, this is a different kind of loop. Let me just show you what I mean for pet in pets and I'll console log the output so you can see the difference. So as you can see, instead of the elements, we are getting the indexes of the elements. And if you want the elements themselves, you would have to do uh, pets of pet. A better way to name this variable would be pet id instead of just pet because what you're getting from this is the index of the elements rather than the elements themselves. And the next is uh, the for of loop which was recently introduced in the ECMAScript uh, 6 I believe and in 2015. So uh, it's simply like pet of pets and console log pet and this is pretty simple it will console log each of the elements and uh, yeah so uh, let's see if i want to add one more pet like if i want to have pet 3 as let's say a uh, fish so okay uh, th that worked out fine uh, every everywhere where we had outputted something uh, it got updated Let's see, uh, we want to have something called a key in here. So let's say uh, species and I want the species to be mammals because we have two mammals here. So interestingly, uh, you can observe that only the for in loop got updated and none of the other loops got updated. In the first for loop, you can expect uh, why it didn't work because uh, this is iterating over only the integers and so uh, there's no, no such thing as uh, pets of species so yeah this is expected but in the for each loop you would expect uh, you, you would expect this to output everything which is put in this pets array but it did not actually uh, the for each loop is uh, expected to work only with arrays this thing is declaring an object here and so this won't work with the for each array. If we just output it here, you can see that it has a key which is not an integer. So that's why it's not coming up in here. The for in property uh, is interestingly showing the mammals because uh, the for in loop iterates over anything which has an enumerable property set inside the object. So when you define it like this, there's an internal property inside the object which is known as enumerable and it, it, it is set as true. So that's why the for in loop will iterate over it. However, the for off loop won't iterate over the species property and output mammals because it iterates over only iterable member objects such as arrays, strings, sets, 
strings and typed arrays and one more interesting thing let me just show you so if i wanted to break over something in the for uh, in the basic for loop we can simply do if pets of i is equal equal to a dog no sorry a cat and i would want to break so you can see that uh, we only get dog in here but if we try to do the same for this for each loop it won't work i mean it should not work and we'll just change it to pet equal to cat and i would want to break it so you can see uh, if i run this in the terminal okay so node for loop start js i'm getting an error you can see here illegal break statement so we are not allowed to break inside a inside a for each statement so if i remove this everything works fine so if you want to have breaks inside your for loops you should not be using for each rather you should use the normal for loop and uh, that's pretty much it because uh, these for loops behave very differently and this this for off loop is recently announced in the ECMAScript 6 in 2015 and uh, this is pretty new and it's it's only supported in the latest browsers so yeah that was a quick description about the different for loops and how they are different from each other i hope this video was useful to you and if you have any doubts just leave them in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer them if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and if you don't like this video please leave a dislike thanks for watching and have a nice day happy coding